hey, what's going on, guys? Um, I guess I think we're on day five, which means I'm halfway through my quarantine. Um, I think a couple of you think I might be coming back this week, but uh, it is going to be next Monday before I, they allow me to come back. Um, I read your emails. I replied to them, so uh, get back onto your email and uh, look for my reply. If you didn't send me an email, then obviously I didn't reply to you. Um, but in your emails, um, a lot of you, I guess, are concerned about my health, and so um, I really appreciate that. I'm, I, it makes me feel um, makes me feel loved that you guys want to make sure that I'm doing okay, and uh, and just know that uh, I don't want you to worry about me. I am doing fine. I was blessed to um, to not have to. Um, I didn't get the COVID very bad. Okay, I know some people um, have a lot of complications with it and everything, but for me, um, I've had I've I've felt worse before uh, with uh, with like the flu or the cold or even allergies. Um, last week, I felt like my my legs were tired and. Um, uh, I had like a little bit of a runny nose, but, uh, and then I was just my body, I mean, really overall my body was just tired um, this week so far. I'm feeling great. I feel like I should be able to, um, I should be back in class with you right now, um, but they won't let me come back until 10 days are over uh, just to be safe, just to, just to protect everybody and keep everyone safe. So um, um, the worst part about it for me is that I lost my taste and smell. So uh, it's really weird. Like I, I will eat things and I can't taste them. Um, I smell things and, or I try to smell things like candles and soap and that kind of stuff, some stuff that's really strong and I can't smell any of it. Um, I think that's coming back. I think I'm starting to taste and smell again. Um, but there's still some things that I, to, I just can't taste very well. I mean, again, I'm drinking hot chocolate. I like to drink hot chocolate all the time, especially when I'm working at my computer. And uh, I can tell it's sweet, but um, that's about it. Um, I can, I'm getting just a little bit of a hint of chocolate, but not much. So um, that's the worst part about this is I just can't taste or smell. But uh, um, other than that, I feel fine. So don't worry about me, guys. I'm doing great. Uh, just because I'm not there doesn't mean that I'm terribly sick. It just means that I could be contagious and they don't want me to come back until um, until there's been a safe amount of time um, for me to come back. So um, a couple of things that I need to address with you guys. Um, I'm getting some of you guys um, um, have emailed me and told me that uh, you weren't good for some of the subs. And so uh, just make sure that you guys are, are, are uh, being the best that you can be and make sure you're behaving for the subs the way you would act for me. Um, just, uh, just remember if I get any bad reports or if, uh, some of you guys, I mean, some of you have emailed me and told me some of the things that have happened. And if I get those reports, just know that I will take care of it when I get back to school. Um, there will be, uh, if you, if I find out that you have been misbehaving for the sub, then I will make sure that, um, there are definitely going to be some consequences next week. And that's really sad. And so just be good. Act like you would for me. Uh, you guys are good most of the time for me. And so, uh, um, again, just be, um, be kind to each other, be leaders, and don't do anything that you know you're not allowed to do that, if, that you wouldn't do for me. Um, for example, I don't know why we're asking for water from Mr. Laura and Ms. Velasquez, but you shouldn't be. You never ask to go get water from them when you're with me. And don't think that just because you have a sub, now you can um, just do uh, whatever you want. Um, sounds like we got like 15 waters from those classes. And so we need to bring some water and give them the water back. I don't know why you guys ever asked the sub to go get water for them, but you know better than that. So that, that's one of the things I'm talking about. Just don't do things that, um, that you wouldn't do if I was there. I get to, I mean, you guys have emailed me, um, the other teachers text me and let me know about problems. So it's not like I don't know some of the things that's going on. So um, just remember that. And next week, if I have problems that need to be taken care of, I will take care of them. Um, but hopefully not. I don't have to worry about that. I want to come back next week and just uh, uh, and just 
move right on into teaching and uh, reviewing and doing all that kind of stuff. Um, this video is a little bit longer than others, but uh, I just wanted to make sure to cover a lot of things. And one of those things is the star test. Some of you emailed me and said you're very concerned about the star test next week. And so let me just address this with all of you. The star test is next Tuesday. So I think you're going to be watching this Tuesday morning. It's not today. Uh, it is going to be a week from today that you will take the writing star test. Okay. Um, that is the first star test, the real star test that you've ever taken. So there's a couple of things that you need to, uh, I want you to just think about. One is I don't want you to stress about this test. It is the first time that you've done it. You didn't have the experience of taking any star test in third grade because of quarantine. You missed um, a big chunk of school last year where we were in quarantine. We've had a very crazy year. I mean, I'm missing two weeks where I could be teaching you right now. Um, we had a week when the world was frozen and we didn't come to school. We had a week uh, last semester where there was tons of snow. Some of you have been out on your own quarantine. Some of you have been out more than once on your own quarantine. So there's been a lot of craziness happening, uh, a lot of time missed. And um, I want you to understand that this test, um, we understand all of those things that have been going on. And we're not expecting you guys um, to, to, to master this test, especially with it being the first experience you've ever had taking a, a real star test. All Ms. Gallagher and I are asking from you is that you just do the best that you can, okay? That's all we ask. Um, if you just go in there and you work hard and you do your best, um, if you don't pass, don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it. It's not going to be, um, it's not going to be the end of the world on this one, okay? Um, so we just don't want you to stress about it. All we want you to do is just do the best that you can, okay? And that's, and like I said, that's all we're asking from you. Um, and if the best that you can do means that you still don't pass, hey, that's okay. This is the first time you've ever done one and um, maybe we can figure out why you didn't pass and the next time you're gonna take two more star tests this year and we can figure out, um, you know, what went wrong and learn from our mistakes. And again, just have that growth mindset um, that we talked about at the beginning of the year. Just uh, take it as a learning experience, do the best that you can and grow from there, okay? So uh, don't stress, I'm not stressed about it, okay? I'm not worried about the test. I know Ms. Gallagher's not worried about the test and if we're not worried about it, you don't need to be worried about it, okay? You're gonna do great and uh, the only way you're not going to do great is if you don't try. Just work hard. Try your best. That's all you can do. Okay? All right. So we're running on an eight-minute video here. Um, so I'm going to let you guys go. And I will talk to you next time. Love you. And I miss you.